Hey, curious. It's been a good day. I uh I had like $124 in boot stamps. And it's been difficult because uh, I do have someone I can get a ride from, but it's very sparingly, and it's hard to coordinate it. And this is um, a supplement to my uh, six six seventy five uh, SSI, and that's good, right? But the bad thing is, is that uh, if I had to do it by myself with the cost of travel and stuff and the restrictions on that. Uh, I, I would be in kind of a pickle, especially that I'm not that good at health. So, things like walking to the store or taking a bus, and with no transportation, it, it creates difficulties. And the point of all this is, is that I lucked out and got a ride and got all my groceries, and I'm trying to save to buy a, a, a dryer, you know, because I know somebody can get them for cheap. And it's like, it's true no man is an island, but uh, are these, all these supplements I'm getting really just a leech on society? Uh, you know, it be, is my white privilege showing? And I would say no. I, I don't accept white privilege. I don't accept... Either that the conservative view is that I'm a drain on society either. I don't think that of any race. I, I Well, I'm a post-scarcity futurist. So th what that means is that I want a resource-rich society. So generally, even though I have a different view on things than your traditional uh, economic progressive, I generally fall into the same ideas of of uh, supply uh, supplied outcome in other words um, not outcome of opportunity or equality of opportunity but equality of outcome when it comes to economic things when it's uh, health wealth and age I say that it's an, an idea of economic equality or quality of uh, outcome. Now, when it's to do with social issues like race, gender, sexuality, I believe in an equality of opportunity. In other words, I'm a cultural libertarian. I don't think there should be any freaking special lifting, uh, special um, privileges, no, no special discompensations, you know, no autonomies. Just basically, if you're not being put down, uh, you should not be uh, supplemented for putting up. Uh, in other words, um, everything should be done to make sure that somebody isn't being discriminated against because of X, but X shouldn't be considered a supplement because of such institutionalized anti-X, whatever the X will be, you know, feminist, uh, race, nationality, uh, gender, transsexualism. I don't, and you know, I hate to say it, but I don't even think transsexualism should be a category of civil liberties. I think that's a malady. And it should be uh, approached as such, you know. I mean, you could say the same thing about homosexuality, but it can be true to a certain degree, but that's more of a behavior. And as a behavior, I think generally, as a cultural libertarian, if you're in your own lane and you're um, taking care of yourself, at least on social issues, um, yeah, you know, it... it, it it doesn't need to be addressed so much. Your private sexual life between consenting adults is your own. You know, I support that. I don't support pride. You know, I just don't. I see it as a, uh, not a means to itself, but a means to an end for other uh, opportunities 
or idea ideologies. So anyway, but I went into the store and I got all the stuff and now I'm happy and it's like, I don't know, I just, I can't not see a idea where someone could think uh, uh, the social market or self-responsibility or any of that can really supply a economic ditch that certain people find them in, themselves in. True, the people are being forced to supplement these other people, and that is an issue that is valid in itself, but from a conservative point, I can't help but think that these people are just the people that are well-to-do that uh, see it as such. Uh, I don't think there's many poor Republicans left. You know, this poor conservative is a noble thing. You know, but usually they're the ones that are uh, working a farm or some other means of production where they really don't want the government interference and the high taxes on their subsidies because they can have an opportunity to make a living how they see it, how they wish to see it. You know, and that's a good thing, I think, because the laws are very intrusive when it comes to taxes that actually inhibit um, um, equality of opportunity in an economic sense because, you know, they just... They bar so many things, code enforcement, um, tax laws, um, you know, everything like that. It's just another thing to disenfranchise the poor. Whether uh, rich limousine liberals want to see it that way or not. So, anyway, I got the privilege today. I managed, I got Thanksgiving, thank God. You know, and it's nice. It's a nice feeling. And everyone should have that kind of feeling. So, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, thanks for giving. You know, I appreciate it. And hopefully, uh, there'll be others that will too. I know I do. So, Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. And thank you for giving to me. Yeah, you know. I know some of you hate me for it. But I'm sorry. Things are good. Just for a minute. And I'm glad. It was a good day. How do I turn this off? Way to make a good video, Kyrus.